Welcome to the Biotechnology Lecture Series. This is the first lecture on the environmental biotechnology. In this lecture, we will cover the introduction of environmental biotechnology, fundamentals of biological intervention, and genetic manipulation strategies in environmental biotechnology. First of all, we will talk about what is environmental biotechnology. It's a biological processes to solve environmental problems and sustainably manage natural resources. It utilizes living organisms, cells, and biological systems to develop technologies for environmental protection, waste treatment, and pollution remediation. Environmental biotechnologists work towards sustainable practices, conservation of biodiversity, and minimizing environmental degradation. And if we talk about its objectives, its aims to develop sustainable technologies for efficient pollution control and remediation, conservation of biodiversity, and sustainable use of natural resources. We're diving into three essential aspects of fundamentals of biological intervention, which are bioremediation, phytoremediation, and bioaugmentation, along with a bonus topic composting. These processes are crucial in addressing environmental challenges by utilizing the power of biological organisms. Bioremediation, it involves using biological processes to detoxify or eliminate pollutants from contaminated environments. We utilize microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi, along with plants, to break down or transform these pollutants into less harmful substances. Picture them as nature's cleanup crew. Phytoremediation, it is all about using plants to tackle environmental pollution. Plants have this incredible ability to absorb, accumulate, or even break down pollutants present in the soil, water, or air. It's like having green superheroes that excel at removing heavy metals and organic pollutants from the environment. Bioaugmentation, it's a technique where we introduce beneficial microorganisms into contaminated sites to boost the natural biodegradation of pollutants. These added microorganisms enhance the existing microbial community's capabilities, making the environment more efficient at cleaning itself up. It's like giving a helping hand to nature's own processes. Now, as a bonus topic, composting, it's a fascinating biological process involving the degradation of organic waste by microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. They transform this waste into compost, a nutrient-rich organic material that serves as an excellent soil conditioner. It's a great way to reduce waste volume while creating something beneficial for our soils and plants. These biological processes are powerful tools in our environmental toolkit. They help us work with nature to restore and maintain a healthier environment. Understanding and utilizing these processes can make a significant difference in how we approach and solve environmental problems. Now we will discuss the four essential aspects of genetic manipulation strategies in environmental biotechnology, which are genetic engineering, gene cloning, recombinant DNA technology, and CRISPR-Cas9 technology. Genetic engineering, it involves modifying an organism's genetic material using advanced molecular biology techniques. Think of it as tinkering with the instruction manual of an organism to enhance its abilities. By doing so, we can develop organisms with superpowers for specific environmental applications, like pollution cleanup or efficient nutrient usage. Gene cloning, it's a crucial technique where we isolate and make identical copies of a particular gene. Imagine it like photocopying a specific set of instructions. This allows us to produce large quantities of a particular protein or enzyme, which can be instrumental in engineering microorganisms with desired traits for environmental purposes. Recombinant DNA technology, it involves the artful combination of DNA from different sources. It's like creating a genetic cocktail with precisely selected ingredients. By mixing and matching DNA, 
we can develop genetically modified organisms, GMOs, with desired characteristics. In environmental biotechnology, this can lead to organisms capable of pollutant degradation, nutrient cycling, and various other environmental functions. Now here comes the game-changer CRISPR-Cas9 technology. It's a revolutionary tool that allows us to perform precise gene editing and modification within an organism's genome. Imagine editing a sentence in a book to completely change its meaning. This technology enables targeted modifications in the genome, enhancing the environmental performance of organisms in unprecedented ways. By employing these genetic manipulation strategies, we're essentially empowering organisms to become environmental superheroes. These technologies enable us to fine-tune and optimize their abilities to address critical environmental challenges. They hold immense promise for a sustainable future where we work hand-in-hand -hand with nature to restore and protect our precious environment. That's all from the first lecture. See you in the next video for lecture number two.